While there are a lot of different Star Wars characters with different lightsaber colors, one of the most unique lightsaber colors is white, which is set to make a return in little over a week when the Ahsoka series premieres on Disney+. Plus. Although she now wields a pair of white lightsabers that have been seen in Star Wars Rebels and The Mandalorian Season 2, that isn't what many fans are used to seeing in her hands. Originally, she wielded two green lightsabers as a Jedi Padawan to Anakin Skywalker in The Clone Wars. When she left the Jedi Order, she left those sabers behind. Upon returning to the fight to help Bo-Katan and the Mandalorians retake their home from Maul, Anakin gifted her sabers back, with a slight modification due to his tinkering, now unleashing a blue hue. However, following Order 66, she faked her death and left those in the wreckage of the Tribunal so the Empire wouldn't go looking for her. But the next time we see Ahsoka on screen, she has white lightsabers. So how does she get these? During the first year of the Empire's reign, Ahsoka lived a quiet life away from everything happening in the galaxy, including spending time on the Outer Rim planets Thebeska and Rada. During this time, she collected various pieces of scrap metal that she would later put together to form the two new lightsaber blades we see her wield for the rest of her life. However, while on Rada, the Empire's arrival led to Ahsoka forming a resistance among the local farmers, and when some of the recruits became too aggressive in their acts, Ahsoka had to use the Force to rescue them and go into hiding. This placed her on the radar of Bail Organa, who recruited her into his secret rebellion, which is when she finally put the scrap metal together to create her new hilts. Her first mission as a part of this new rebellion was to return to Rada, where Organa had learned of a new Imperial agent armed with a lightsaber, which turned out to be the sixth brother, who had been sent there in search of Ahsoka after her actions caught the attention of Vader and the Inquisitorius. On the way back to Rada, she traveled past Ilum, which is where Jedi would usually go for new kyber crystals, However, the Imperial presence above the planet as they strip-mined it made it too dangerous for her to land in search for a crystal. She then reached out in the forest to find a crystal, locating one which was singing to her through the forest from Rada. Not long after she arrived there, she was confronted by the Sixth Brother. He attacked her with his double-bladed spinning lightsaber, but she was able to dodge the blows with relative ease. Tano eventually used the force to throw the Sixth Brother and reached out to grab his lightsaber, managing to nick the power connection in the lightsaber's hilt causing it to overload. The hilt exploded on him, leaving the sixth brother dead. Knowing that she didn't have a working lightsaber to finish fighting the Empire on Rada, or to use as an agent working for Bail Organa, she retrieved the kyber crystals from his lightsaber and used the force to heal them of the dark side presence, causing them to turn white. The blades of her saber were white because their crystals had been bled by the Inquisitor to turn red. But because of the purification, what was left was the pure form of the kyber crystals, without their corruption, hence why the crystals emit white blades. This was the first time in canon that kyber crystals that had been bled with the dark side were purified and purged of their corruption, so there's a good chance that Ahsoka didn't expect them to emit white blades, compared to the more common colors of the Jedi like blue or green. How excited are you for the Ahsoka series? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for coverage of Ahsoka as a new episode premieres every week. And remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.